Hi there. I was playing a show in the weekend and somebody swiped a couple of my harmonicas. And one of the ones they swiped was my trusty Paddy Richter G that I've had for over 20 years. Now where I live in Christchurch, New Zealand, it's pretty naff at the best of times to get what you want from a shop. And if I order one online, I don't know how long it's going to take to reach me. So I'm going to tune up a Paddy Richter G for myself from a standard Richter G harmonica. So I thought this is a great opportunity just to make a video about tuning harmonicas. So let's do it. I've got here a Lee Oscar G harmonica. I found it lying around. It looks like it's new. I play quite a lot of Lee Oscars and the last Paddy Richter I had was a Lee Oscar. So what I'm going to do is tune the three blow note up one tone. So instead of being D, it will become E. And that makes it really good for playing a lot of Irish tunes at the low end. Yeah, it's nice and brand new. Look at that brass, nice and clean. The blow plate is on top, so we're going to have to unscrew it so we can get access to the reed. Today I'm going to be using this tuner. It's an old Korg tuner I've had for years. It's done me pretty good for tuning harmonicas. There's lots of tuners out there of course and apps that you can have on your phone. I'm going to tune all the reeds to concert pitch or thereabouts and that is um, the reference is A above middle C equals 440 hertz. That's just the way I like it. I've found that just a really good tuning for playing with mandolins and things. So um, if you tune, you can tune a little bit higher, but if you go too high, it just, um, you know, I just hate the sound. So uh, yeah, I usually go for, for around concert pitch. It just makes it easier for me when I'm playing with the people that I play with. I'm also going to use this engraver. So the principle behind tuning, if you take metal off at the tip, the reed will go sharper. If you take it off at the end part, just under the rivet, it will go flat. And you can go a tone and a half either way. So yeah, we're going to go a whole tone today. I've got this to rest the reed. It's actually just a bit of computer paper so it'll just sit there and it won't get pushed down and it also just protects the other ones as well. So we're in E now, it's just a little bit flat of concert pitch, so just have to be really careful now and not take too much more off.
Okay, we're right in the ballpark now. I'm just going to give it just a little bit more. that for now. It may yet go out a bit. I find sometimes I have to spend a few days just tweaking reeds when I tune them. But I'm pretty happy with that for now. The next step is going to be making sure all these reeds are in concert pitch as well. So a lot of them are sharper. That one's sharper. That one's flatter. So that's our three blow that we've just tuned. That's sharp. That one's a bit flat. So yeah, some are a little bit sharp, some are a little bit flat. So the next step will be making sure all the reeds are in concert pitch or thereabouts. That's my preference. Everyone's got their own preferences of how they like to tune their reeds. And I also like to be able to blow octaves and not hear too much of a tremolo effect. It really does my head in if the reeds are slightly out. So I kind of tune one and four together. And then I'll tune four and seven together etc moving up the harmonica when I do the draw reads um, you don't get the octaves on most of the reads so um, yeah I just basically tune them more to concert pitch some people tune slightly sharper to allow for sometimes if there's moisture on the reads it can put them out but I've got um, a special little trick I do of tuning which I'll show you later on for this next step, it's really just a matter of tweaking the reeds a little bit. I'm not going to use the engraver for this, I'm going to use another tool. This is kind of a chisel that I've fashioned out of one of those cheap screwdrivers that you can buy from hardware stores. They've got quite soft metal in them. They're pretty naff actually for screwing things, but I get a file and I, I just turn them into a kind of chisel. And it just seems to work quite well with brass reeds. I'm not so sure about steel reeds, but certainly for brass it works really well. Another thing it's handy to do is just have some absorbent paper or maybe a cotton bud or something like that, just to sort of soak up excess moisture, because that can really throw your tuning out. And really... So I'm just going to check the tuning with the reed plates screwed on, because that can affect the pitch. So that's four blow, that says that's in concert pitch. So that's one blow, I'll be tuning it against, that's sharper. And it's producing a tremolo that is not acceptable to my ear. So I'm going to flatten one blow. I find that when you're flattening you don't have to take n anywhere near as much metal off as you do when you're sharpening. Might be about right. I'm pretty happy with that for now, I'm just going to leave it like that and move on. So the next one I'm going to do is five and then I'll do two as well and play them together. I can see there's moisture just on the reeds. Already a bit on five. Just take that off. Doesn't matter now so much for four because it's done for now. 
I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to go through all the reads until I'm satisfied with them, all the blow reads, and then we'll move on to the next step. So I think I'm pretty happy now with the blow notes. They're in tune pretty much right. Um, I might expect them to go out a little bit, so I'm going to check them again tomorrow, but I'm pretty happy for now. And yeah, we'll just see, they might need a little bit of tweaking. So it's a question of moving on to the draw notes now. Once the blow notes are done, you can screw on the reed plates. Makes it so much easier to do the draw notes. So I'm just going to go through the whole process again, checking each one against the tuner and just tweaking them a bit with this here customized screwdriver, which is now a chisel. So I'll turn the camera off again and I'll just go through all these draw notes. And next time I turn it on, I should hopefully have uh, a nicely tuned harmonica. So it's the next day now. Last night I played with this a bit, played a few tunes on it, tweaked it a little bit more. This morning when I was playing it, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's still, still holding its tune quite nice. There's not a lot of tremolo there, I think, on the notes when I play the octaves. If there's too much of a waver, you hear something still out of tune that just does my head in. That one's got a little bit, bit of tremolo. I think I can live with that, but if it starts to annoy me, I can just tweak it a bit. So I think, yeah, I've got a harmonica here that's uh, pretty good for playing the Irish tunes. There's just one more thing I like to do when I'm tuning harps, so I'll show you now what that is. So the last thing I like to do is to check my tuning against a mandolin or a guitar or another fretted instrument. As I mentioned, these are tuned a little bit sharper than concert pitch, like a lot of harmonicas are. So I think Lee Oscars are tuned around um, 442 hertz for the a note. Um, I used to be in a band where I'd get everybody just to tune up the set a little bit because otherwise we were out of tune. And I got sick of doing that so I just started to tweak the harp so they're just that little bit flatter at concert pitch so it's just easier to play with other people and you don't have to get them to tune to you. If you don't play a mandolin or a guitar or something or you don't have access to one Okay, it's not a big deal. It's just something that I like to do just to have that extra peace of mind when I've tuned it so that I know if I do play for someone else, it's not going to sound out. So to recap on everything that I've just been doing. When you're tuning, you can tune a harmonica read flat or sharp up to a tone and a half. And if you want to tune sharp, you take off metal at the tip. If you want to tune it flat, you take metal off at the rivet end. And what you're basically doing is just changing the weight distribution in the read. I used an engraver to take metal off and also a little chisel that I fashioned out of a cheap screwdriver. Some people also use files as well. So anything really that you can take off the metal. If you've never tuned before, I suggest that you practice first on an old harmonica that you're not too worried about losing and don't do what I did and take a brand new harmonica and start doing it unless you know 
what you're doing because you might sort of ruin a few reads before you actually get to pick the skill up. You'll get a feel for how much metal to take off the reed. When I was tuning that three blow note up a whole tone, that took quite a while, probably 20 to 30 minutes with the engraver. I was just there, just taking the metal off. But I wasn't really um, yeah, going too fast with it, I was just taking my time. And I wasn't putting a lot of pressure on the reed either, I didn't want to damage it. And also, when you're doing this, be careful with the other reeds around that you don't damage them, just, just you take extra care. And you might find too, after you've tuned your reeds, you might have to um, gap them again. You might have just been touching them and putting them out a little bit, so you might just have to just go through and set the gap. I hope this video has helped to take the mystery out of tuning if you're not used to doing it. So just remember, just practice at it first before you attempt to do anything with any beloved harmonicas. So I'm all happy now. I've got myself a brand new Paddy Richter G and I'm all ready to go out this weekend and play it. So until next time, bye for now.